it's uh, 10 28 and uh, our engineer teaming is working on the release it's gonna be interesting you saw our fun brainstorming sessions and uh, you know what all the updates we discussed are live on our product and I'm super excited to share everything with you today. Most of our users keep on telling us, see Abhishek, I want to hire the best performing candidates. But for that, I need to ask best performing questions. How do I know if a question is best performing? That's a real problem. So, well, we have got a solution for you. Introducing question analytics. It's a new way to understand the strength and weakness of your test. We strongly believe that this is going to revolutionize the way you do assessments. Think of it as a go-to tool for comprehensive insights. It will give you a clear look at candidate engagement with each question. And other one is uh, performance assessments. It's an easy way to see how individual questions are performing. Let's say you want to search Java Angular questions where question views are low. That's it. In a matter of seconds, you already have a data in your hand. How do we check an individual question performance? Let me take an example of ratio of two numbers. So if you see this question, it has viewed more than 10,000 times and uh, it has a passing rate of 70.6%. But uh, we don't stop here. If you click on analytics, you will get a detailed understanding of how this individual question is performing. Let's have a look at this candidate graph. Uh, we'll give you a breakdown of question views in each month. But how do you make a decision out of it? Imagine a scenario where uh, we have used one question in June, July, and August test. Same question. But always candidates have a chance of taking multiple tests from the same company. Now, there is also a high chance of he might remember those questions. That's a problem. So if he knows the question, what is the point in making assessment itself, right? So that's why using this question, you will understand if the question is multiple times used, now it's a time to change the question and introduce new questions to the test. And moving on to the average candidate score, how do we understand uh, this data and make a decision out of it? If you see this, 29% of candidates score between 0 to 19% and 71% of the candidates score between 80 to 100%. That means the passing percentage of this question is high. So imagine a scenario when you are hiring freshers and uh, in this situation, you might want to ask of an easy question but uh, how do you know a question is easy that's where average candidate score helps you when you see 70 percent of candidates score between 80 to 100 percent that means that question is easy for most of the candidates it will make easier for you to take decisions based on this data you know picking the right question for the test is a real pain that's why we have revamped our question library Welcome to Question Library 2.0. It's all about making your life easier. With a new user-friendly design, you can find questions aligned with the skills you're targeting and it's quicker than ever. It's clean, simple, and it's here to help you generate those tests without any hassle. We have also added a couple of new skills under MCQ and subject question, that is blockchain and general AI, general IQ, quantum computing, system design, and professional communication. And we have added support for project-based questions for uh, C-Hash, Spring Mode, Selenium, Salesforce, .NET, Flask, OpenAI, Java. Imagine you want to assess 5,000 plus candidates on data science and uh, you send out invites. But you know what? Life is busy. How will you make sure that they will remember the test is happening tomorrow or day after tomorrow? So that's why we are introducing email reminders. Recent reminders, you relax. Uh, they get resources and you get research. No more worries about the test issue. And here is something for everyone. No matter if you're in an office model, hybrid model or a remote model, or let's say you're having a cup of coffee in Starbucks, it doesn't matter. Using a web notification, you'll always be getting updates on what is happening in your test so that you're always connected to the test. Is it real time? Yes, check. Is it effortless monitoring? Yes, absolutely. Or is it seamless connectivity? Yes. 100%. We know managing candidates is not an easy task. So when you have multiple tools in your organization, that will be even more difficult. It's a nightmare. So that's why we have integrated with Ripple Hire and Lever. Now you can trigger test and interview in one place. We all need breaks. And VCP team is no exception for that. So after building these amazing features, we went to Goa 
and had a real fun it was a good time for us to refresh and uh, think and come back build even more interesting things for the world yeah that's it for today subscribe to the channel because from now we'll be sharing more and more updates to tell you what is happening in bcp so see you for today